So here we go, honeybee removal in the rain. <laughs> it's uh, It's been raining a bit here. So we're gonna go do a honeybee removal right down the street from my shop. Just uh, about a mile, not even. So uh, that's gonna be a pretty quick and easy removal. But uh, let's see how all this goes. Oh, looks like I got a gap. Uh, one thing about my shop, it's hard to get in and out the way you're right next to 95's overpass so uh, it's a pain in the butt too many cars constantly moving especially around rush hour but at 6 45 p.m. on a Tuesday <laughs> in the rain and lightning we're gonna go use power tools and we're gonna and we're gonna cut open or cut out a hive it's on a fence slash birdhouse built onto a fence thing. So we'll see how this one goes. Can you believe my dumbass is trying to do a honeybee removal in this? Well, I'm running back to my shop real quick because uh, for some reason one of my gloves isn't in the trunk where it should be. So I got to go back and grab another set of gloves. Hope I didn't lose a pair. Expensive. They're brand new too. Only used a couple times. But uh, so we'll see. But yeah, I gotta run back, grab some more gloves. It's not a problem. But uh, the rain. Okay, I stop. Wave it. Ah, you can't see, Captain. You can't see. So yeah, it's uh, a very, very rainy day. And uh, so, going back to my shop, I'll grab my glove. I'm hoping this rain lightens up by the time I head back. We'll see. Oh, well, before I lose all light, let me take a video of this. This is the hive. It's an old birdhouse. It's now chock full of bees. So yeah, it was in this yard. And uh, I'm gonna... I don't know how much you guys can see. I didn't, I should have recorded before it got dark. But uh, this is it. They attach this thing pretty good to a fence too. So it's not a whole lot of options to get it out. But I gotta cut it down. But it's a rather well put together one attached to this fence. So here are the bees. They're Egyptian honey bees for the most part, from what it looks like. There are uh, quite a lot of them. I can smell th attack ther pheromones already. These guys aren't as friendly as the regular Europeans. So here we go.